so let's begin with our video standard disclaimer this is a airbus manual that i've used for uh, preparing this video but of course uh, do not recommend any practical application of the information that you learn in this course okay so we're talking about uh, hydraulic of the airbus a320 so there are three continuously operating hydraulic with three different reservoirs uh, green blue and yellow so at normal conditions they're operating at 3000 psi pressure okay most importantly hydraulic fluid cannot be transferred from one system to another okay so there are uh, different types of pumps that are available to the aircraft for the green hydraulic we have one engine driven pump and for the blue hydraulic we have electric pump and the rat is in case of emergency in case the electric pump fails then the yellow have the engine driven pump which is driven by engine number two then you have electric pump to operate the yellow system when the engines are stopped and uh, one hand pump to operate cargo doors when there is no electrical power available okay so these are the different types of pumps you have on board the hydraulic system of the a320 you have a wonderful ptu device uh, which is a power transfer unit is uh, fitted between the green and the yellow system it is a bi-directional unit that enables yellow system to pressurize green system and vice versa but it works only when the differential pressure is greater than 500 so the normal pressure is let's say 3000 if any one system goes below 2500 okay so the differential pressure is above 500 that is when the, there's a pressure drop that is what the ptu will come into action and transfer pressure please make a point it transfers pressure only it does not transfer the fluid fluid transfer is not possible okay so this uh, helps the ptu allows the green system to be pressurized on the ground when the engines are stopped okay because green system does not have an electric pump of its own so you have the yellow electric pump which can pressurize the green system as well if required so this is the logic diagram of the ptu as you can see fine so there are uh, majorly four uh, conditions which have to be okay satisfied in any one of them for the ptu to operate so the first one of course is uh, the ptu should be in auto mode differential should be 500 and in that out of the four you can choose any one the nose landing gear shock absorber is extended or both engine masters are off or both engine masters are on or parking brake is off and nose wheel steering is not in towing position so any one of the four conditions the ptu will run any time you operate the hand pump any time you operate the hand pump okay for cargo door operation the ptu will not run okay so this was about that then you have the ram air turbine in the blue system okay it is a turbine that allows the blue system to function if electrical power is lost or both engines fail so for hydraulic use the rat has to be deployed manually but however if you're using electrically in case of ac bus one plus two fault the rat deploys automatically but remember rat can be stored only when the aircraft is on the ground so once if you deploy it it has to be stored by engineers only and rat is able to run the blue system at around about 2500 psi slightly short of the normal 3000 but that's what it is used in emergency only okay so this is the d distribution table of the green and uh, blue yellow systems okay so the important ones to remember of course is the landing gear slats flaps reverses engine one normal brakes on the green system blue system emergency generator slats are good to remember yellow system flaps nose wheel steering alternate parking brake reverse engine two are important ones to remember okay with experience you'll remember all of them don't have to worry about it important here is the priority valve okay priority valve now priority valve actually gives priority to the guys at the bottom okay so suppose if let's say green system is at low pressure green system is at low pressure the priority valve will then give priority to the services below the priority valve okay because landing gear can be extended using gravity okay slats and flaps are also available in blue and yellow systems right so that is the reason the priority valve okay gives priority to the systems which are below the priority valve fine so heavy load users are cut off whenever there is load on the uh, system 
that is because of low pressure okay so that's the purpose of the priority valve it does not give priority to the above ones it is taking off priority because those are heavy load users and they will degrade the pressure value okay so yeah that's it for this uh, small uh, upload thank you for watching subscribe to the channel if, and like the facebook page for regular updates give this video a thumbs up if you like the video do not forget to share it with your friends comment below if you have any doubts you can get me on these links cheers and happy landings guys take care